Hey y'all, how's it going? It's Ashley from A Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot. Hope you guys are doing well. Coming to you with an energy update. We're gonna see what's going on with you and your twin. All right, we're gonna see what's happening behind the scenes. Um, all right, so I have some tarot as well as some oracle cards and we're just gonna jump right in. If you want a personal love reading, check me out. I do have a spring sale going on um, and it is till March 31st, okay? I do offer Twin Flame readings as well. Um, I do have several readings to choose from, but if you want like your Oracle cards um, with the tarot, you can just add Oracle cards to your reading and I can um, just do the Twin Flame reading and just indicate it on the questionnaire. I don't know if you guys have ever um, gone through the process, but just indicate on the questionnaire that this is a Twin Flames reading. And if you add Oracle cards, I'll do it just like how I do here on my channel. All right, so let's jump right into your reading. I'm going to start off with the sacred signs and symbols uh, and we'll get your messages. All right. <laughs> This um, deck is found in my Etsy shop. You guys have seen this before. Nothing new. Okay. All right. I think we saw something that came out. Uh, let me flip this over. Okay. Clear messages for my twins. If this resonates, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay. Any messages? We got the bookshelf. Okay karmic lesson so some someone got something to learn here right we associate books with being educated so it looks like you guys have a lot to learn okay on this journey i know you guys don't like to hear that but you know there's no twin flame journey without learning learning about yourself um loving yourself learning about what you want your needs your expectations um, there's a lot to be learned, but there's also some lessons here. Some of you guys may be in separation from your person because there was uh, some karma here, some karmic debt that had to be paid off, okay? So that's for some of you guys, the bookshelf is here. We also got the scissors, snip, 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 okay? Cutting out, cutting out. So it's like the three of swords. Something here got cut out, okay? Um, I feel some of you guys, you cut this person out of your life, okay? You're working on cutting ties. Some of you guys, maybe you're doing some cu uh, cord cutting, all right, because you feel so tied to this person. Well, I'm just going to put you in on it. You know what? You can you can try to cut all you want. You're dealing with your twin flame. If you and truly are dealing with your twin flame, you cannot easily cut that person out of your life. You just can't. Okay? They're going to come right back. So you guys may have been trying to disconnect from your person, detach. Some of you guys I'm getting, they could have been someone who was all of a sudden they tried to cut you out. They tried to run away. They tried to get rid of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can do it all they want. You ain't going anywhere either. You guys are living through each other. You guys have met for a reason. You're twin flames, okay? There is some big, big lessons that you're learning through each other, okay? They were put on this earth, okay, <laughs> in this particular time period for you guys to meet, to come together, and to learn and lesson, okay? What else do we need to know? Race car, reckless, impulsive, immature. Some of you guys are dealing with a very immature lover, okay? Very immature. Maybe they were very young-minded. They didn't have to be younger than you, okay? They could have been uh, grown, okay? Grown woman, grown man. But I'm getting that the way they acted was very reckless, very impulsive. They didn't really put... Um, they didn't really think about some of the things they did, okay? And I feel some of, you, some of you guys are dealing with someone who may have said some things that were very mean and hurtful, and I'm getting it just, they had, they just went off in the mouth, okay? But also, you're dealing with perhaps someone here who just were engaged with people who weren't good for them. I'm getting, they kept the wrong people around, friends, okay? Lovers. All right, we also have dark black shades, okay? So your person has always been very discreet. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who likes to kind of... You know, keep things on a wrap. They like to be very uh, mysterious, incognito, okay? Um, so, you know, I think some of you guys with that incognito energy, this is someone who may also not really show their true self or their true feelings. You could have been dealing with someone who was, you know, very um, emotionally immature. They weren't really able to express things to you, okay? You kind of, you were always trying to figure out, well, how does this person think? How do they feel me, feel about me? You didn't know because, well, they didn't really say anything, right? They didn't really express. So this is someone who may have had some issues with self-expression, with being vulnerable, with, you know, being emotionally available, okay? Let's get a few more cards here.
We got the flashlight, okay? Clarity, discovery, investigation. So some of you guys, um, in this energy, some of you guys, it's like the page of swords energy. You're learning a lot about yourself. Maybe you're investigating. Maybe you guys, I feel some of you guys are really trying to find out what was this person really up to? Why did they do the things they do? Why did they abandon you? Why did they completely just leave you out in the cold? So you guys may have been doing a lot of investigating, especially if you couldn't get the answers from this person. And I think right now you guys are in that energy of learning, discovering, like self-discovery, spiritually being awakened. There's a lot of answers. There's clarity coming to you. Um, and even if it's not from this person, a lot of you guys are getting clarity through tarot readings, right? That's how you heal. That's how you get your uh, your insight. Um, some of you guys, that's how spirit talks to you, okay? That's how spirit talks to you through tarot, through tarot readers and everything. That's how, you know, we channel messages. And so a lot of you guys, you are with that flashlight energy. There's something being illuminated. There's light, okay? You're starting to see things. You're starting to understand why perhaps you met this person why perhaps you know you guys were chosen oops okay got the card that fell out we have the leather belt okay we got a strong masculine type energy here um they didn't want to be tied down we got someone who was afraid to be tied down maybe afraid to be in a commitment afraid to have like to be restricted i'm getting your person didn't want to um be exclusive or maybe they had some serious commitment issues okay and some of you guys you felt like you had to cut ties because you may have wanted more some of you guys with the severing ties it could have been like a three of swords third party type of energy and you guys wanted more from your person you wanted something solid you wanted something secure and i feel like your person they didn't want that they didn't want to have any boundaries they didn't want any um they didn't want to have uh, have someone telling them what to do they kind of wanted to do whatever they wanted whenever they wanted right engage in reckless activity be out late have many different lovers okay i'm just getting like this is someone who definitely just they just wanted to be their free self, okay? They wanted to just do things how they wanted to do it, okay? And, and maybe even engaging in a lot of risky behavior with that reckless, impulsive energy. I mean, I feel a lot of you guys, like, I'm just not using protection type of energy and, you know, going out and drugs, alcohol, that stuff, okay? So we got the suitcase energy. Some of you guys, you packed your bag and you left, okay? Some of you guys, you had to escape this type of person, all right? There was baggage, emotional baggage. Just someone, you know, this is someone who really caused you a lot of hurt, a lot of stress. I feel dealing with this person, it brought a lot of um, conflict to your life. And, you know, some of you guys, I feel like you had to just let it go. You had to walk away. Some of you guys, you may have lived with this person for some time. You had to literally pack your bags, get your bags together, and, and move out. Let it go. Okay, escape this whole connection. Some of you guys, they could have had that suitcase energy where all of a sudden they just escaped. They just decided, you know what, I'm not, I'm not going to show up. You went to work, you came back, and they were gone. That's the energy I'm feeling. It happened very, very sudden. I'm getting this is someone who also escapes from being their true self. Okay, there's an escapism energy. Uh, they didn't want to be their true self with you or they hid things from you. Any of the messages? Okay, we got the Nike sneakers. Okay, some of you guys work at Nike. Runner, chaser. Someone was running, the other person was doing the chasing. Okay, so your person could have been the worst, the person that was avoiding something, they were dodging. Some of you guys, you, you wanted to find answers about a situation here and they just never responded. They changed the subject, right? We got the runner chaser, so someone was literally chasing the other person, okay? And you, you, I feel a lot of you guys, you perhaps were the chaser, right? And they were running away. They were trying to avoid the, the situation here altogether. We got the clouds, okay? Clouds, fog, haze, confusion. You didn't know where you stand with this person. Something was foggy, right? You didn't know where things were going. You couldn't see. You saw a future with this person, but as some of you guys, your head was in the clouds. That's what I'm getting. Your head was in the clouds because this person never really told you they wanted that. You saw that. You visioned uh, perhaps a family, a home, all those beautiful things, a white picket fence. But some of you guys, you were in the clouds. You were wish wishful thinking is what I'm hearing. Okay, but this person never really gave you that clarity. They left you in this place of confusion. There was haze around it. You couldn't see straight. You didn't really know where things were going. Right? You didn't see the path because this person never really told you what the path was. Okay? 
All right, so let's see. Um, I'm going to look a little bit more. That was from um, the Sacred Signs and Symbols. This is on my Etsy shop for those of you guys who are interested, okay? All my Oracle decks are very small, guys. I have small hands, so I like my, my decks small. So if you also like small decks, um, check me out. <laughs> Okay, we got loneliness, loneliness. This person is afraid to now be alone. Now they're they're realizing that now that you guys are separated, now they're alone. Now they're by themselves. That five of pentacles, they're feeling at a lack. They're feeling lost in a the world. They don't have the person that they love the most. They're missing companionship. They're missing talking to you. They're missing the things you guys did with each other. So now they feel alone, right, with that loneliness energy. Okay, let's see what else we need to know. honesty wow so now your person wants to be honest about something right before they were dodging a bullet they were avoiding you right they kind of just you know disconnected they detached from you they didn't want to give you the answers now they want to be honest now they know that if they were just honest they could have avoided a lot of this okay a lot of the drama they could have avoided this um the feelings that they're going through now right so a lot of you guys your person is now feeling like wow i should be honest i should really um tell my person how i'm feeling or what happened okay because they were dodging the bullet right they were kind of they were literally avoiding certain situations here with you We got the surrender card. I love it when the surrender card comes out in my Twin Flame readings. It's just a reminder that what you got to do, you just have to surrender. You have to surrender. And this is something here that your person had a difficult time doing. Surrendering to the connection. Just giving in. Letting it things flow. Okay? If they loved you, just go with the flow. Just don't resist it. Don't run away from it. Don't overthink it. So a lot of you guys right now, Spirit is also telling you to surrender. Now, you guys are having a difficult time surrendering, okay? Releasing the control over the situation. You can't change this person. You can't make them come back right now. But you got to let them do the work because there is some work that has to be done, okay? Let them sit their butt up in the library, okay, and read some damn books because we got some karmic lessons here, okay? So now they're doing some learning, but you guys have to surrender. That is your job. That is your job. You have to surrender to the connection. Why? Because it's necessary, because you, you can't change the situation. Now, we got the balance card, okay? Balance is being restored in the connection where there wasn't any, right? There was imbalances for sure. You gave, gave too much, and they gave, gave just too little, right? This, this was not reciprocated. It don't work like that. It, it, it can't work like that. So there's balance being restored. Your person's becoming more aware that perhaps they need to... um. They, they needed to do more. They needed to give more. If you were of value to them, if you were worth something to them, they would offer more. Right? They wouldn't give you just scraps. They wouldn't give you leftovers. Right? They wouldn't put you second or, or give you literally. They wouldn't put everyone else before you. Okay? We got the judgment. Mm -hmm. Your person wants to make a judgment call. Making a decision. Okay, some kind of finality about where things stand right now. Because it looks like you guys, obviously you're separated. There hasn't been much um, happening perhaps, right? Um, but I see that your person wants to make a decision. So let's see what Tarot wants to tell us about the connection, okay? If this resonates with you guys, please do like, share, and comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it greatly. I am open for personal readings. Um, also, I will link description to, um, I will link... Uh, in the description box to the bonus readings for all the zodiac signs so as you know i have a main channel called serendipity tarot and i do extended bonus readings and i just open uploaded those for march 10th through the 20th and that really is going to look at your person's energy so whoever you're dealing with your twin um their sun the moon the rising go ahead and check out the bonus reading because it can give you more insight as to how your person's feeling it's not just uh it's not just for, um, you know, Twin Flames. It's not just for, so it's for everyone. So um, check out the bonus reading, How Does Your Person Feel for Your Person, for Your Twin, okay? And it's from March 10th to the 20th. It's going to look at their energy a little bit deeper. How are they feeling? What's in their emotions and feelings that they're not saying? How do they want to move forward and what's going on behind the scenes? I also have, um, well, the outcome, the unrevealed thoughts and secrets of your person, 
and what spirit wants you to know, okay? Um, right now to bring in love and abundance into your life, okay? So do check that out. We'll link it in the description box for all the signs, okay? So yeah, look at that. Your person's feeling left out in the cold. Now they're feeling at a loss. They're feeling lonely, right? This is this is the energy of feeling lonely. I'm by myself. What do I do now? I, I scared off someone who I love the most. I sabotage this beautiful connection. What do I do? So now your person's alone. Now they're feeling at a loss. Now they're in despair. They don't know who to talk to. Who do I run to? right? And we got the two of swords in reverse. So now they want to get out of their head. Now they wish that they had told the truth, right? Before they felt like telling the truth would be, would make things worse. Telling the truth would hurt this connection even more. But no, now they're realizing that they should have been honest, right? Now they're seeing it. And that could have caused the imbalance here. We got the balance beam right on her arm, that tattoo. So I feel like, you know, your person is, um, you know, they, they want to be honest now, but they're also stuck in her head. They're stuck in their head. They're feeling lost. They're feeling like I don't even know how to how to how to move forward anymore. I'm stuck. What do I do? Why is the surrender card here? Five. Okay, the, the King of Pentacles and the Wheel in the Verse. So, your person it could be in this King of Pentacles energy where they want to do the right thing. They want to um, have some kind of stability in their life. They want companionship. They want commitment. They want something real, long term. However, they've been making the wrong. Oh, making making the wrong mistakes. They've been making mistakes. They've been stuck in uh, patterns or revisiting past situations or not being able to close out cycles. That wheel in the verse is telling me they're, they've been causing these misfortunes in their life. They've been causing um, things to not be able to move in the right direction. So your person, is, it looks like they're trying to get themselves together with the King of Pentacles. It could be a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. They may be working on their stability, working on their home, their business, their career, going back to school. Well, that's what that king of pentacles is about because it's in hope of finding stability in your life once and for all okay so that's what i'm seeing we also have balance right next to it so again they want balance in their life they want stability okay what else do we need to know yeah seven of pentacles so you know your person's doing a lot of thinking this is the energy of looking back on their investments looking back on you know what they had with you what this connection mean to them and they feel like they've lost out because there were seeds that were planted here. Something had the potential to grow, to be very stable and long lasting. And now they're seeing that, you know, they, they really ruined this opportunity. So with the judgment, we have the page of swords. So it looks like your person is still watching you. They may be doing this uh, investigation, looking at you, watching you from a distance, not saying anything, acting all incognito, right? Acting as if, playing it off like they're not really interested, but they are because clearly, you know, this page of swords is all about interest and being inquisitive. They're very curious as to what you're going through right now, what you're dealing with, who you're involved with. They very much care. They're very, very much interested, okay? So they're definitely watching you from afar. Now, we're going to get some, I'm going to get some romance angels, and then I'm going to finish off this reading with the unspoken love messages, okay? All right. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Now, it came out in reverse. So your person is fearing on having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. They know that you guys need to talk, right? But they can't be honest, right? It says, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. And that's what they, that's, that's what they struggled with. We got the two of swords. They're struggling on being honest right now. They're stuck. They can't be honest with you just yet. So heart-to-heart -heart conversations came out in a verse because they want to be honest they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation but they can't they're not ready to just be honest yet okay so that is that is what's going on let's see what else we need to know what is happening healing family issues so your person has some serious family issues here could have been something here way before they met you could have been some mommy daddy issues could have been abandonment could have been a lack of love from their 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 parents okay your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so some of you guys they have to forgive their parents they have to forgive their their guardian someone who they that raised them when they were a child because that is affecting their ability to love Okay, they're not able to love because they perhaps wasn't given the proper love when they were growing up. Okay, okay, 
okay got two cards here trust and deception oh yeah so your person has some serious trust issues right they have trust issues they don't trust love they could have been the reason as to why they ran away from this connection why um you know they act very immature and reckless because they don't they don't look at, at as love as being worth anything to them they they feel like love is unkind and cruel and mean and you know so they don't trust people they don't trust love right how crazy does that sound but it's true this situation is calling for you to have faith some of you guys you're learning to have trust in the process trust in the whole twin flame journey because we all know it ain't easy right so you guys the message for you is to trust the process. Trust that eventually this person will get it together. They will, um, they, they got some lessons to learn, okay? But like I said, keep their little butt in the library until they learn their lesson, okay? You don't need them just yet. We also have the deception card, okay? So this talks about your person wearing a false mask, right? They didn't want to be seen. They were, um, that's why they hid things. They were incognito. They got their uh, black shades on, right? Dark black shades on. They didn't want you to see. They didn't want you to know. They hid things. So someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So that's your person. We all know that. All right, so that is what I have for you guys. I'm going to get the unspoken love messages. This is the Soulmates in Separation. This is on my Etsy shop. You guys have seen this before. Check it out if you're interested. All right, let's see. My twinny twin twins. What is going on with your twin? Okay, the distance between us is killing me. Okay, yeah, yeah. Five of Pentacles in reverse. They're at a lack without you. They're missing you. Okay, they're lonely. This is the energy of being lonely, being alone. So this person has no one in their life right now. Or even if they do, yeah, they don't, they're not, they're still alone. They're realizing that they're still alone because they don't have love in their life. That's the problem. Okay. We also have, I wasn't ready for what you were offering. Okay. You gave them everything, right? On a platter. You gave them love. You gave them affection. You gave them nurturing energy. You gave them support. They wasn't ready for that. So what did they do? They threw it out. Right? You wasn't looking. They threw it out in the garbage. Ooh, card that fell out. What fell out, spirit? What is this? Judgment. Mm-hmm. Look at that. They want to make a decision. They want to make a decision to turn this around. Judgment. I'm making the decision once and for all. They're, they're going to be getting themselves together because they're thinking. They're reflecting. They want to be this king of pentacles for you. They want to be committed. They want to be um, supportive of you. They want to be your, your caretaker, your provider. They want to do right by you. So they are making a decision. Any more messages? I'm afraid that it's too late to turn around, but that's the problem, right? Because they did so much damage. Now they're afraid to turn around and make it right with you. They don't know how to make it right because they ruined things so bad, right? Now they're stuck in a rabbit hole. I'm feeling emotionally void without you, okay? I'm feeling emotionally void without you. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Lonely. Now, you know, they couldn't give you their emotions. They couldn't express. Now they're feeling emotionally void. Now they're at a loss. What are the messages we have here, please, Spirit? Oops. Sorry, I did not see your value and worth when we were together. So this person um, just overlooked you, mm -hmm. right? They just cut you out easily like you were of no value to them, right? They didn't see your worth. They didn't see everything that you had to offer. But now they want to be honest because they were playing themselves. They deceived themselves. There was love here. They deceived their own self. So now they're caught. Now they're feeling left out and they're alone and neglected and abandoned. Foolish. Wow, we got... I'm not taking all those cards here. Let's get two more cards. Okay. I was dishonest. Yup. Didn't we say that? Dishon this is That's the big thing with this person. They were very dishonest with you. I was dishonest with you and myself. I lived one big lie. This person lied. They lied. Oh, I didn't care about you. Oh, you mean nothing. Oh, I don't have feelings. Oh, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know. We know. You are wearing a false mask. You're wearing those dark black shades. We, you know you're very dishonest. Deception. You will always have a special place in my heart no one else can fill. That's the truth, right? This is the truth. You will always have a special place in my heart nobody else can fill. So you guys, I love you. Okay, I hope you enjoyed your reading. <laughs> Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate your love and support of my channel. 
And um, again, I will leave the links in the description box for the decks that I've used today, as well as the bonus reading, how does your person feel, your twin, all that for the sign. So check out the sign, whoever you're dealing with, okay? Not your sign. Check out the sign of the person you're dealing with, okay? So if you're dealing with a Pisces, go ahead and check the Pisces um, bonus reading, okay? Um, or you can check your reading as well. You can do both. I mean, it's up to you guys, but um, actually, you probably should check your own reading. I'm sorry. I said it the other way. So whatever your sign is, you check that bonus reading. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, have a beautiful day. All right. Take care.